With cabs, shuttles, and rideshare services, there are more ways than ever to get to and from the cruise terminal at the start and end of your cruise. Now, in South Florida, there's a new option, and depending on where you're coming from, this new high-speed train may be a great way to skip the traffic and hassle of being in a car. In fact, it can even get you right to the curb at the terminal that you're sailing from. I'm Bill from CruiseHabit.com, and I'm standing here at the Brightline Station in Boca Raton, Florida. Recently, we left from this very station to cruise out of Port Miami. Brightline trains began operating before the pandemic, but recently they opened up additional stations in South Florida, including this one right behind me. Service now runs north and south, with stops in West Palm Beach, Boca Raton, Fort Lauderdale, Aventura, and Miami. The ride, if going between the farthest points, takes about 75 minutes compared to a drive time of about 100 minutes, depending on the time of day and traffic. Speed, however, is not necessarily the reason to take Brightline, even though it is a high-speed train. Your journey starts by purchasing tickets in the Brightline uh, app or the website, and you can pick your class, uh, like the cabin class, individual seat locations, you can prepay for station parking if that's interesting to you. There's a large parking garage actually right in front of me. And in some cases, you can arrange private transport to and from the train stations. More on those transfers in a minute, they are important. Now, premium tickets get you complimentary drinks and snacks, as well as a separate waiting area that's at the station. There's a small and high-tech convenience store at some stations, including the one here in Boca, but some of the other stations are larger, notably the Miami station, which is huge and in fact features an entire food hall. The waiting area for those in smart class, which is their term for standard or economy class, is very nice as well, with various seating options, including high-top workspaces with outlets, uh, great for getting things done while waiting. There's Wi-Fi here at the terminal as well. And a few minutes before the train arrives, the staff will let everyone know it's time to head onto the boarding platform so that you can wait comfortably without worrying that you're gonna need to rush outside. The trains themselves are really nice. We've taken them a couple times from the station nearest our home, this one, down to Miami, uh, as well as uh, stopping Fort Lauderdale. Always in smart class, we haven't paid for premium, haven't tried that yet. There's plenty of room to store luggage, both at the front of the car and above the seat, so traveling to your cruise or going to from the airport, that's easy. And the seats themselves are pretty comfortable. They all have USB and 110 volt outlets, uh, feature a tray for working or snacking or whatever you might want to do. Uh, there's free complimentary, uh, there's free Wi-Fi on the uh, trains themselves, though we did find it faster to simply tether to our phones and our experience. Now, during your journey, they will bring refreshment carts down the aisle with no pressure at all to purchase. Each time we've taken the trains, they felt like brand new. It seemed like we were the first persons on them. But again, they've been operating a couple years, though, with a pause because of COVID. Uh, but what really stands out with these particular trains is the ride. Other trains I've been on in the U.S. tend to offer a bumpy, shaky, or loud ride, but these were nearly as smooth and quiet as, as those we recently took in Switzerland, a place renowned for their rail service. One thing we would have liked to have seen was clear indication of the time next to uh, the time to the next stop. Uh, stops are only a couple of minutes, depending on the station, so it was. A little, I was worried that I would settle in too much and need to quickly get up and grab my bags to get off the train. This hasn't turned into a problem so far, but an ETA on the in-car displays would be really nice. Once you arrive at your destination, Brightline service shines even more because they offer a variety of ways to get to and from the station. While getting to the station is done either on your own or by arranging a transfer when buying your train tickets, which is complimentary by the way if you purchase premium tickets, getting from the station to a variety of destinations is really easy. Complimentary shuttle service to Port Miami cruise terminals, uh, Port Everglades cruise terminals, and Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and West Palm Beach airports run 10 minutes after the arrival of the train. So you've got a couple minutes to get out to the curb, jump in a shuttle, and they'll get you to where you need to be. There are also complimentary shuttles and electric carts and things like that to Miami Beach, Aventura Mall, and other local destinations, especially from the Miami station. So if you're staying in a nearby hotel, check out the options. Brightline may make it really easy to transfer. 
If you prefer to pay a little bit more for private transfers, you can arrange for rideshare services through Brightline so that the timing is synced up perfectly. Train tickets range from $10 all the way up to $82 a person, depending on the time of day, whether you're buying a smarter premium fare, and of course, which stations you're going between. Coupons are sometimes available, so if you want to try and save a couple bucks, sign up for their emails. Do consider booking well in advance, though, to ensure the schedule matches up with your travel needs, and also because there are times, especially at certain peak commuter times, that they sell out and you just won't be able to get on otherwise. So if you're a South Florida local looking for a new way to get to and from your cruise, or you're looking for an alternate way of getting between airports, cruise ports, or other popular destinations, check out Brightline Trains. We've really liked it. It has changed the way that we cruise and get to and from the airport. Later in 2023, they're going to begin offering connections uh, to Orlando, which will give cruisers more options for cruise ports, airports, and allow you to connect with popular theme parks in the area. Of course, be sure to talk with your travel agent about other transfer options that may be available. Once you get to your cruise, that's when the fun really starts. So if you found this video helpful, subscribe and check out this video where we go over 12 things you should absolutely do on the first day of your cruise.